everyone, welcome back to another travel vlog and this time I'll be traveling to Chongqing. So I am at the airport once again with my two sisters. There's still around an hour and a half to spare so we're just going to be chilling here. When you're trying to watch a movie at the same time on different screens. <coughs> oh my god! Then, of course, we had to select flight tickets, including an in-flight meal so we don't starve ourselves, although it was only a two-hour flight. And shortly after, we arrived in Chongqing. We just arrived! We love a good old Macau M. Coors. Mm -hmm. Then, it was time to check into our hotel, which was called IU Hotel for the next few days. What is this? Wow. We are at our first destination. I swear I'm gonna get run by a car if I don't look carefully. But this place is really popular because of their like streets and like the stairs how we can like it's a non-stop like city walk area and it's like in a kind of like a neighborhood area so let me show you guys we walk up from here and then we'll have our adventure started trying to take a photo <laughs> and you hold on to these yourself oh. who's dog this is so cute oh my god <laughs> we just got seated at the restaurant and we literally got a room Look how spacious this is. Hi everyone. Yeah? Introduce yourself. My name is Pretty Jin. <laughs> nice. I'm from Hangzhou. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't know about you guys, but this pot of red oil with spices in it looks very intimidating. For someone who loves spicy food but can't handle it, this will be very interesting. What I really like about Chongqing Hot Pot is that they would serve the food to us in these small portion teacups so that we can order a variety and try a lot of things at once. Getting some sauce for Hot Pot, of course. They don't have the sesame sauce that I like, but I feel like this is what they usually use. Like this is the authentic way, so we will be trying that today. <sighs> it was so spicy. Holy. Mm -hmm. This is kind of like the flour, like fried flour. I feel like it's gonna be really spicy. <laughs> we just came out of the hot pot restaurant. It was somewhere, it was literally right here, and my stomach is. Full. It's so full. I'm so full. But anyways, this is our view. Look how pretty it is. We're also gonna be walking that way, and you're gonna be mind blown by how beautiful it will be with all the lights. So let's go. The amount of people. 
is crazy. We were on 10th floor. And the first floor is down there. The amount of people. Oh my god. What? This is what happens when you're doing last minute planning <laughs> when everyone's on their phone. Currently, we're walking to a very, very popular, famous bubble tea place. You already know bubble tea, I have to try it out. It's like one of the most popular bubble tea in China ever, and there's only a few cities that have it, so definitely gonna try it out. It is right here, this one. I'll show you guys in a bit. Usually during the daytime, there's so many people, but that's why we perfectly picked at night so that there's, we don't have to wait in line. Yeah. <laughs> I officially used WeChat Pay to pay for the very first time with my own WeChat. I can't believe it. This is our day two of our trip. So far, this is my outfit. It's not really a mirror, but going with the, um, with the cool vibes. Got my hair up. I'm ready to get out. Just waiting for them. And then we'll head out for breakfast. We just arrived at this very popular food street. And the first thing that we're gonna buy is this. This is super, super popular. It came from a television show. So we got the cheese one. Super excited. We are currently at a street called Zweilu and it's basically very popular for all of the stores and how pretty it looks. Look at this. Like every single store looks so modern and like pretty, like Instagrammable photos. So that's why we decided to come here and just take some photos because we are in very cute outfits. Today, as you can see, today is actually really nice. Like it's not sunny. Actually, it's quite sunny over there. Then right now we got the shade, so it's not that bad. We are currently at one of the most famous places called Li Zibajan. Let me show you guys. It's right there, right over there. But the weather is not killing it. It's all eat the baoja. Let me tell you. So we're just waiting for the subway to come, and then we're dipping ASAP. So my cousin went online and searched for a way that we can take a shortcut up to like a really olden day style like valley kind of place right but then oh my gosh yeah but then we're a little lost okay so it wasn't until this moment where the saying of mountain city really hit me because as we entered this small shortcut i thought i was on ground floor but then we kept on walking down the stairs until we finally reached our destination well, it didn't stop here. We just entered a place called Chongqing Mountain City Walkway, which was still located on the mountains. Look at this entire thing. It's spraying water for us. We finally arrived! Wow! Oh my god! Yeah, 
我同可能。<笑>你叫師傅發張相過嚟。We are currently at a very, very popular place where they eat, uh, they drink tea, and they also eat like small snacks. And then you can also, um, how do you say, like Thai or say that Dong Mum didn't, Ding Mum didn't, but yeah, but yeah, like you can like kind of like pick your ears and everything. So it's like a very relaxing kind of thing that Chengdu and Chongqing people do. So I, unfortunately, it's. Too sunny and hot out here, so I decided to get something cold. Feels really good. I do not have a fever. I'm just oily, y'all. We just arrived at our dinner location and currently it's like a really small place but usually the ugly and small places are usually really good so super excited to try it. We are eating some pork feet. Sounds disgusting, but let me tell you, it is delicious. It's called Wu Ming Hua Tea. Look at all that chicken. Sheesh! That was the hardest shit of my life. It has arrived. to come out and get my nails done on the streets. day two anyways we are at this rice noodle place that we're gonna have for breakfast let me show you guys i'm actually kind of scared i got the pig ears rice noodle and i also added a bit of vegetables for the morning it looks really really spicy i'm ready i have my water i have my lemon iced tea i am ready to dig in <laughs> <laughs> this is actually quite spicy. First bite, you can't really taste anything. Afterwards, the aftertaste. <coughs> Look at my cousin with the water. The water turned into Tom Yum soup. Come on, Lama. Lama, spicy. Oh my god, I'm actually surprisingly almost done. <coughs> Guys, I am so proud of myself. I actually devoured this. Like I ate it in probably within 15, 10, 15 minutes. But meanwhile, they're still going at it.
Sunny, but we have officially finished our Chongqing trip and we're about to take the train to Chengdu. We are currently on the way to Chengdu right now. We're on the train. This is like one of the most famous um, trains in China where it's super speedy and fast. So it'll only take us about an hour for us to get to um, Chengdu. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this vlog and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!